Tristram, you're one of the men behind the scenes at City Kickboxing and have been for a long time. Um, finally, we get you in front of a camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you're very talkative, so I don't know how I'm going to stop you, mate. But, <laughs> but you, you spend a lot of time with Dan in particular. Yes. Yeah. And he comes to your home gym. Oh uh, yeah, it's just a uh, just a garage. Only because I work nights, and it's uh, it's just easier because I finish work and they they come there, and then I'm just training right there. So not coming out. Yeah, it's just same as my uh, immediate crew. And it's just because I train and then I go to work. And, and some of the younger viewers watching this, they they won't realise that you were. Uh, top class fighter yourself and you had something that a lot of other fighters don't have especially big men you you had the spontaneity in your fighting you your reflexes were unbelievable and your footwork and ring work was uh, something that obviously Eugene thinks a lot of and that's something that you're passing on yeah I think it's just I don't know, thinking about thinking outside the box kind of um, and showing people that things work. Yeah. Know, different things work, not just the same thing. Yeah. You're changing it up a bit. Changing it up but I trial it. You know, like I trial it and I, I play with it with my immediate crew for a while. And then I go to work. And I just think about it, like watch stuff, and then I'll drop it if I didn't like it. But all the stuff is I like it. So, yeah. are you going to be in Melbourne to watch Dan in action? It's definitely I'll be in the corner. I think for both uh, Israel and Dan. You've been in a lot of the camps, and uh, you're you're one of the sit back, watch sort of the guys. You don't want to be up front, uh, and. What, what do you notice? Is there anything different about this camp when we've got all the, all the fighters together? Has there been a different energy for this one? Actually, uh, uh, the boys actually look okay. Like, like last few fights I'd be worried, but they look all right. I hope I'm not jinxing them. But yeah, feeling a few jolts on my arm, so positive yeah there's some, there's some things there that you haven't seen before some things are, that are um, on the regular now like I'm you know before it used to be intermittent hit now and then but now it's just heading on the regular so I'm happy yeah well if you're happy I think everybody else at City Cup Boxing is happy too mate yeah. actually I'm always happy <laughs> you are too, mate. Hey, thanks for talking to Combat TV. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Tony. Uh, sorry I'm not much of a <laughs> Yeah, you are. You're good, mate. You're good. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah, it, people don't realise the, the, you're behind the scenes doing so much. So, <laughs> Well, I, yeah, they don't even believe, like, the nurses. Like, when they say who I am, my brother, my brother always looks at them, writes the stuff down, and they always write down and I'm delusional. <laughs> they say I'm delusional because when I say I'm training people, these guys, and I used to be this and that, and it's like delusional. Twice my brother has seen them write it down. Yeah, so, yep. I'm delusional. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. well, we love you just the way you are, mate. <laughs> what, what are you doing? <laughs> Cheers. Round number two. And the pace will slowly pick up through rounds two and three. Oh, well, we, I don't think we'll worry about rounds two and three or four or five because a big right hand from the twister.